everyone, my name is Farah, and as promised, I'm going to do a video today on how to record PC gameplay with no lag, and I will also show you how I record my gameplay commentary while I am playing. Firstly, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, then please subscribe, I appreciate it. Also, there will be a written description of everything I say in this video in the description below if you need it. So I use OBS to record my gameplay videos. If you haven't already seen my first video on how to record your computer screen for free using Open Broadcaster software and save your videos as an MP4, not an FLE file, then check out that video. I will leave a link in the description below this video. It will show you how to download OBS and the settings that normally should be good. But those settings always made my gaming videos lag, so today I will go over the settings which I use in my recent gaming videos. You can see a significant amount of decrease in the lagging when I change the settings on my OBS. Let's first compare the gameplay in my MC5 live videos number 1 and 2 versus the MC5 live videos number 3 and 4. Before in my MC5 videos number 1 and 2 there was lagging and the sound would be cracking as well. And you can see here how much the lagging is. After, when I changed my settings and made my MC5 videos number 3 and 4, you can see that the lagging has significantly reduced and the sound is perfect. Now let's compare a different game which normally shouldn't have any issues but I was having lagging in my old video. Before in my Our World mashup dub smash video you can see there is lagging, the character's movements wouldn't even appear on the video and you can see the heart that's moving around is not smooth. It just freezes and lags. After I change my settings, you can see it is easy to get smooth character movement capture. Even when I do this small glitch where the character is sliding from one side to the other, the recorder captures it very smoothly with zero lag. I will put the links in the description below the video for all these videos so you can judge them for yourself. Now let me show you the settings that I have changed. You can go ahead and copy everything that I have on my settings. You can pause the video and copy my settings into your OBS recorder. On general, I didn't change anything. On encoding, the main thing I did was uncheck the use of the CBR. On broadcast settings, I didn't change much, but make sure your replay buffer file path is set to an FLE so that you can use the recorded videos in your editing softwares, as I explained in my how to record your computer screen video. On video, you can copy everything that I have here. I will come back later and explain the importance of changing this FPS here. Under audio, you can keep everything as I have here, but you can decide to use the microphone option if you want your videos to also record your commentary. I have it disabled because I use something else to record my microphone commentary separately, and I will explain that later on in this video. Under hotkeys, I didn't change anything. Under Advanced, you can decide not to change anything, or you can copy what I have here. The main thing I changed was that I unchecked the use of CFR, and I checked the custom X264 encoded settings. Here I typed CFR equals to 20. You can choose a number between 0 and 20, 0 being the best quality videos for really good fast computers, and 20 for the computers that lag and have difficulty recording smoothly. I used 20 and I didn't see any changes in the quality of the videos, but this does reduce the lagging. If you decide not to do this part, then that's okay, because the next best thing that will make a significant amount of reduction in the lagging is the FPS under the video tab. Under the rest of the tabs, I didn't change anything. Under videos where it says FPS, you can choose a number that is 20 or lower. You can make this 20 and then reduce it until your videos don't lag at all. For me, the number 15 worked. When I changed this to 15, the lagging completely reduced. So I would say the FPS is the main key point to reducing lag on the OBS. So if you want to change nothing else, you can just change the FPS and see how much your video recordings improve. I hope that helped you all. Don't forget to click apply.
Now the way I record my audio is with Audacity. The reason I record the audio separately is because then I can go into my editor and make the volume louder than the game if I need to. And I can cut some parts off if there is interruptions in my house and I need to remove that part of the audio. If you have seen my MC5 Live number 4 video where I did a collaboration with my friend Mira, then you can know there was a part where there was a phone call in the background of the last match. The reason I couldn't cut that part off was because the audio was from the OBS which was recording my Skype call with Mira. And if I muted that part, then it will have muted the gameplay as well. So what I do is turn on my recorder, then I press the start on Audacity. I start my gameplay and when I'm done and ready to edit the video, I match the audio with the point in the recording where I click start on the audio. Then everything aligns together and the video is good. I really hope that helped a lot. Please don't forget to click subscribe and like this video. If this video helped you, then comment down below and let me know and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to check my other tutorials and my gaming videos which I mentioned in this video. The links are in the description for them all. You can also click any of the icons on this video for any of those videos. Please follow me on Google+, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Wine, and my own personal website. The links will be in the description below. Thanks for watching! Bye everyone!